Well, it's autumn here, and I thought today I'd like to do a book review that I actually read in order time. And the name of the book is The Amber Trap by Alan Reed. Now, this can be read as a standalone, as you can see. It is book number three, and I will just explain who these two people are. That's Benedict, and this is Alexandra, and they are basically uh, newlyweds. Now, the Amber Trap has got more to do with the immediate family in this book. We have uh, Joyce, which is Benedict's mother. Uh, Joyce's sister, Flory. And Ned, that's Benedict's father. Well, I'll tell you about one particular um, character I didn't like, and her name was Flory. She was very strange. She um, kept on repeating herself, and she was right up into your face. Yes, yeah, so not very keen. She kept on repeating to herself and. Her Yuck. She's horrible. Yeah. Well, I was hoping to see some dogs on my walk today. But no dogs. Now, in the amber trap, though, there's some dogs. There are uh, two farm uh, dogs. One's name is Bluey. And there's also a Clydesdale horse. Well, The Amber Trap is a fast-paced book. It's a cosy mystery to do with stamps and amber, the resin. Tense scenes with entrapment, fire, and getting hit by a spanner. Well, I rate The Amber Trap five stars, so it's a good five star rating. I highly recommend it. It's a cosy mystery. It's historical fiction because it's set in Australia uh, in the Barossa Valley. And if you like Agatha Christie books, then you'll certainly enjoy this one because uh, Ellen Reed uh, writes like Agatha Christie. Oh well. Until next time. Bye.